Hey, what's up, Redbeard TV at QuakeCon in a very red Bethesda booth with Matt, the Bethesda community lead, and Matt, this is really exciting, man. QuakeCon is the shit. Tell, yeah. us a little, tell us a little bit about your excitement here. Well, this is the 19th QuakeCon. It's my sixth QuakeCon, so I'm pretty excited to be here. Uh, we have the Doom reveal later today uh, in the main ballroom. We've got... Uh, Back here behind us, we've got The Evil Within being played by consumers for the first time, as well as Battlecry from Battlecry Studios. Uh, eight on eight tournaments going on right now, so it's a lot of fun. So you guys have a ton of really great games coming out. Of course, yes. we have some Elder Scrolls Online stuff. Yeah. That's going to be coming out for console eventually. Yeah, that's coming out for console. Right now, we're doing uh, new modes to the game. It's 4v4v4. Uh, so we're doing some tournaments all weekend as well as some trials tournaments for the game. So. Now you guys just recently announced Battle Cry and it looks it looks amazing, but it's it, it doesn't really have guns. It's more of like a hand to hand combat game. It, it looks very different. Tell us about Battle Cry. It's actually in an era where there was a uh, the Black Powder Treaty which took place, and that meant that any battles that took place to solve problems had to be done without uh, gunpowder. So it's a lot of melee and bows and. and Stuff like that. And, fisticuffs. And no guns. There are some fisticuffs going is there, on. Is there a move where oh, a character yeah. does this? Because I will buy that shit. Yeah, there's a there's a guy that might not look too different from you that's doing that. So sweet. Yeah. I will I will be talking to you guys later about the licensing. Awesome. On that, yeah. So uh, even within one thing that I've noticed with a lot of games that are coming out uh, later next year. I mean, like even just recently uh, they just announced the uh, the Fatal Frame for Nintendo on the Wii U. Um, a lot of survival horror, uh, just that genre is kind of like coming back in 2015. But you guys have like the creator of the Resident yeah. Evil series. This is the core. Yeah, yeah. Evil Within is uh, developed by Tango Gameworks in uh, Tokyo, Japan. Uh, but Shinji Mikami, who's kind of the godfather of survival horror, he is the guy that's known for Resident Evil 1 as well as Resident Evil 4. Those are my favorite Resident Evils. Uh, he's the game director on the project, and yeah, it's just a crazy return to, to survive a horror for You guys were talking that Evil Within is the first time that consumers are able to play it. Uh, tell us a little bit about like how the game plays. Does it kind of feel like a Resident Evil game? Is it feeling like Resident Evil 4? Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's definitely Shinji's survival horror, his kind of way of doing things. Um, it, it has some callbacks uh, to Resident Evil 4. I, I think it's a little, uh, a little darker, a little creepier in a lot of ways. Um, but uh, yeah, if, if, if you were a fan of those games, you're going to be used to the, the Evil Within, uh, but there'll be some surprises too. So you guys really haven't talked a lot about the story about the Evil Within. Have you guys announced anything more, you know, at QuakeCon? Not yet, no. Uh, we, we do have some people that are going to be playing the game and previewing it, but, um, you know, it, one of the things with a survival horror game is if you tell them what's happening and then they, they buy the game, and they know those suspensive parts, it's not as cool. So we, a lot of it we want to hold back and make sure when they play the game they experience it and have that holy shit screaming moment. The know, holy have, shit screaming moment. Those that, are the best. Yes. Yeah. Well, you want that on your on your couch, not while you're standing up at a kiosk. So. Well, like, I, I, I almost beat myself when I was playing it myself, which is embarrassing in front like of people. That sounds like a box quote. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. I almost peed myself in front of other people yeah. or in a crowded room. You guys can use that. That's fine. All so right. we got permission on the, video. Please. On video, yeah, you can use that as my Captain Redbeard. Almost peed in front of Yar. other people. Yar! So uh, tell some of uh, some of our Redbeard TV fans what's so amazing about QuakeCon and why they should make the trip maybe next year if they didn't come this year. Well, I'm, I'm sure you probably already had a chance to go back to the BYOC. You've got thousands of people bringing their PCs, and these aren't just like you know your off-the-shelf Best Buy PCs. You're seeing crazy stuff here. Like there's one that's a tank that's fully automated and like. It just it blows my mind every time. You you don't see it anything like this at any other show in the U.S. And uh, you know, once I once I'm done working, I'm gonna be up all night playing games. Yeah. Well, Matt, thank you so much for talking to us today. You guys check out all the amazing games from Bethesda and it coming out. Of course, The Evil Within, Battle Cry, and Elder Scrolls Online. And you know, if you guys haven't made it this year, come to QuakeCon 2015. Do it. Pretend Mike's in his underwear. No problem. Not Tim. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs>